Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG Empress. Gotta hit the money. Back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, y'all. Y'all know what time it is, man. Another day, another fighter fails a drug test. <laughs> this is getting crazy, right? You know what's so funny, man? Mexican fighter Julio Cesar Martinez tested positive for an S5 diuretic and other masking agents. So, with that being said, the presence of these bad substances. Excuse me, what? Let me repeat that again. The presence of these bad substances, not the significance, what? not the effectiveness, what? but the mere presence oh, of yeah. these bad substances were enough to get this man suspended for a total of nine months. Man, so he's banned for a nine month duration. You know, that's his suspension. That's what they deemed was appropriate for his you know, for his mistake and his misstep, you know what I'm talking about? And not to mention that he was already found guilty of having clenbuterol in the system. But again, he tested positive for a small, a small smidget amount of clenbuterol back in 2019 as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But forget all that. Forget all that. You know, Martinez, his nickname is El Rey. The English translation of El Rey is the king. You know who else is a king, right? King Ryan Garcia. <laughs> and that's funny, right? Because you know what else he has in common with uh, with King Ryan Garcia? Martinez's victory over Angelino Cordova was overturned. You know what I'm talking about? It was turned to a no contest. Same with King Ryan Garcia. Is this your king? Huh? You know what I'm talking about? Coincidentally, because this is all coincidence. It's, 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 it's nothing that's real. It's just a coincidence, you know what I'm saying? But you know, uh, you know what I thought was very funny? Despite all that, where's the conspiracy theorists? That's what I want to know. Where were the conspiracy theorists? Well, which way do they go, George? Which way do they go? Oh, oh, they, they don't care about Julio Cesar Martinez? Oh, well, let's see if you care about Keyshawn Davis because, you know, uh, 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 Keyshawn Davis back in 2023, he had a majority decision victory over Nahir Albright, right? That was overturned due to marijuana. Yeah, you heard me, right? Weed. Weed. And you know, weed is not even a PED, right? So you know there's nothing by default. There's nothing enhancing about marijuana at all. But once again, because it's a banned substance in the state of Texas, the locale in which they fought, you know, in the location of the fighting venue and where they fought at, it was consequently overturned and turned into a no contest once again because of the presence of the banned substance. Not the effectiveness, not the amount, not the quantity, not the significance, but the mere presence. Do you understand the theme here? So my thing is this, though, man. Where's the hate for Cordova? Where's the hate for Nahir Albright, right? Because we hate the people that we don't hate the people that cheated. We hate the people that got cheated, right? Yeah. So it, 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 it's, it's Devin Haney's fault that Ryan Garcia popped dirty. Yeah. So where's the hate for Cordova? It should be Cordova's fault for Martinez popping dirty. Yeah. And, 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 and it should be Albright's fault for Keyshawn Davis testing positive for marijuana. Yeah. Because all three of these cases overturned the, the, the initial ruling of the victory for, 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 for Keyshawn Davis, Ryan Garcia, and, and, and Julio Cesar Martinez. It overturned their victories to no contest. So where's the uproar? Where's the rage? You know what I'm about? You know what I'm Where, Where's the rage for, 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 for your kings? Is this your king? Right? Right. Oh, there's no rage. You know why? Because y'all don't care about Julio Cesar Martinez. Nope. You don't care about, you don't care about, um, uh, um, Keyshawn Davis. Nope. I don't even know if y'all care about boxing. Nope. You just care about your pin poppy chulo, Ryan Garcia. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's what the uprage is really about. It's not about the integrity of the sport. Nope. It's not about people potentially getting hurt because someone's on a banned substance. Nope. It's not about any of that. It's just that you care about Ryan Garcia. Because if, you, if, 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 that, if, if, if it was otherwise, if otherwise was true, then you'll be just as mad about Julio Cesar Martinez testing positive too. There'll be an uproar. Where are the conspiracy theorists at? Where, 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 where's the brigade? Where's the brigade that's hating on Cordova because he, 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 was, he was cheated by his opponent? Where's it at? Like, do y'all like boxing or not? Nah? I mean, I know I came in here joking, but I'm serious, though. Do you like boxing or not? Nah? Do you care if someone gets hurt because somebody's using a banned substance or not? Nah? Do you care about the rules or not? Nah? Or do you care just care about your favorite fighter? Like I said, man, I say this all the time. I bet money on Ryan Garcia to beat Devin Haney. I believe that Ryan Garcia was going to beat Devin Haney. I didn't have an inside source to know that he was going to be on a PED. I just looked at the fight stylistically, and I like Ryan Garcia as a fighter more than I like Devin Haney. So I bet on Ryan Garcia and I won money subsequently. However, I don't hate 
anybody. I definitely don't hate a stranger or Devin Haney enough to where I want him to lose by any means necessary. And I definitely don't love Ryan Garcia enough. I, I, I like him as a fighter, but not outside of outside the realm or the scope of boxing. I'm not infatuated with him as a grown ass man, a heterosexual man. Why would I be so infatuated with somebody to where I'll be OK with the potentially cheating to win a fight? So why do you why why aren't you mad right now about Julio Cesar Martinez? I, I'm sure you're asking a question. So I want all so so this is what I'm gonna do, man. So please in the comments, let me know the conspiracy theory as to why Julio Cesar Martinez failed his drug test. And the best one, I'll shout you out next time in the <laughs> I'll shout you out in the next video. You know what I'm saying? So go drop the conspiracy theories because I want to hear them all. You know what I'm talking about? Was it the cows? You know what I'm saying? What was, was it Victor Conti? You know what was what is it? What is this evil step Conti that snuck in and put it on his toothbrush? You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 pack this. Packed his toothpaste up with, with with it, you know what I'm saying? Filled his toothpaste up with a bad substance for him to put on his toothbrush and then fail the test. Yeah, that's what it was. This is an evil auntie. Y'all let me know the best conspiracies, man. Appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. Y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. And yes, hold these fighters accountable if they cheat. Hold the boxing commissioners accountable for punishing the cheaters. And yeah, let's keep click keep the sport clean. Shout out to boxing, man. Shout out to the real boxing fans out there. Not 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 these not these not these uh, fair boys and fair girls and otherwise groupies. Peace. Y'all be easy. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.